Welcome to a video on Maxava Monitor MI8, your intelligent monitoring solution. At Maxava, we have taken the monitoring needs of our high availability customers around the world to create a modern, intelligent monitoring solution. Monitoring is a critical part of avoiding disasters, system efficiency and better decision making. Combined with secure automation processes, MI8 monitoring can make the most of the limited resources that many organizations are working with these days. Maxava's background in the high availability and disaster recovery space for IBM I has given us an acute awareness of the importance of system availability. But that availability can take many forms, from the natural disaster or failure of a system element, which takes a whole system down, all the way to an application user not being able to perform their role because of a job backlog or unanswered error message. MI8 specializes in that last area, trying to warn of problems before they escalate by getting an appropriate notification to the right person at the right time. MI8 has been designed with a modern but simple user interface, which links to the cloud cortex where the bulk of the processing is performed. Because it is cloud-centric, the solution does not require you to perform complex configurations on your IBM I, nor buy servers or modems to enable the functionality. The screens which follow will give you an introduction to some of the benefits of using MI8 to monitor your IBM I. It will specifically focus on the monitoring of a disaster recovery backup server, which is being replicated to by Maxava HA software. However, this is only one example of how it can be utilized. The first screen we see here is the browser logon. Each administrator will be given a unique ID to log into MI8. That logon is tailored to each user so that the systems they see and the functions they can perform are appropriate to their monitoring role. The landing page for this administrator shows at a glance a summary of the systems they are authorized to. This type of display is popular with senior management who want an easy visual representation that everything is healthy. Alternatively, the administrator could land on the multi-view showing each of the systems the administrator will be monitoring. Note that for simplicity, two of the systems have been excluded from the view so that we can focus on the pair US Demo 3 and US Demo 4. These two systems are a replication pair using the Maxava HA software to clone data and object changes from US Demo 3 to US Demo 4. The system icon also shows a graphical representation of current CPU utilization. Around the two system icons, we can see three special icons which represent the replication definition. These are configurations which I have called Data, IFS, and QDLS. So the data configuration on US Demo 3 defines those data objects which will replicate onto US Demo 4 through its data configuration. At the moment, everything is running perfectly. Now, to make this demo interesting, I will force some errors so that they are detected by MI8. Here I have gone to the HA graphical user interface and stopped the configuration called QDLS. As it is now inactive, no QDLS related changes will be processed into US Demo 4, which is a big problem. In addition, I've scheduled some local processes to be executed and the effect of these will also start to appear in MI8. Because of the actions I took, the summary view now shows that there are critical issues and the icon is highlighted in red because of the severity of those issues. Moving to the systems view, we can see that the QDLS configuration icon has been changed to red to alert that has that it has been made inactive. In addition, other red icons have appeared. One is just reporting on a recent save, pulling information from the IBM history log. 
we see another icon related to a recent HA audit that advises that a comparison check between data in US Demo 3 and 4 was performed and found entries which should be investigated. Another interesting issue was alerting that an inquiry message was generated by the ERP application and it needs a reply. The other red icon is telling me that because this is a backup server, the interactive subsystem MNinter should not be active, which it now is. Depending on the perceived severity of the issue, other icons could appear on this view coloured yellow or black. Obviously there is a limit to how much text can appear in those alert hexagons, so the administrator may choose to look at a more table-based view to see more information about those same events. This is the view we see here. As was mentioned, we want to ensure that these issues get sent to the right person at the right time. For that reason, MI8 can be configured so that some of them are also pushed externally, in case the PC screen is not being watched. Also the browser interface can also be accessed from tablet and phones for the mobile workforce. In addition, MI8 can forward the more critical information to other mobile products. Here we can read some of the issues we have just seen in the browser, now appearing as text messages on a phone. As a quick aside, there is also an app available for the Apple products, including Apple Watch. Another destination for the issues is emails. Here we can see an email containing multiple issues we have generated. They have been combined together as part of our flood avoidance principles. For those who use Twitter as their source of news, we can also push the same information in tweet form. These last few screens have shown that we can ensure that the right people are informed, even if they are not actively looking at the browser display. There is even functionality to convert that text into a voice call, if that is required. Returning back to our multi-view, we can see the five red critical alerts around the US Demo 4 system. One of the critical bullets that was listed at the start of the video mentioned that we encourage automation. For example, the subsystem MNinter, which we identified should not be in an active state because users should not be using the backup server, will have been automatically ended by MI8. This is part of our activity procedures that will be shown later in the demo. Looking again at the view, we now see only four red icons. Because the automation process successfully ended the subsystem. Please note, there are very strict rules around this automation. Another aspect of convenience and automation is that you can reply to IBM message queue inquiry messages from the text messaging processing. Returning to the phone display, we can see that I am entering a security PIN code, followed by the response R. This is to answer the cancel or retry message we saw earlier in the views. Looking at the IBM I display, we can see that the response was successfully received and processed. Again, there are very strict rules governing this process for obvious security reasons. So our automation and remote commands are starting to remove the issues from the display. However, sometimes we will need to take manual action, for example, looking at the remaining events. Let's say I have now discussed the recent library save statistics with a colleague, and she agreed I can remove that item from the displays. I do that by performing an acknowledgement. The engine behind MI8 is the cloud-based rules processing. A rule looks for a signature of an issue, and when that signature is satisfied, the alerts occur. Here is the rules maintenance display. And looking at the left-hand panel, we can see that the rule related to the subsystem alert that triggered earlier has been selected for editing. 
in the detail slider on the right hand side, we can see some of the parameters of this rule. For example, it applies to just US Demo 4. It is an active rule, and the signature we are looking for is that the MN Inter subsystem is found to be active. These rules can be much more complex than this, with multiple key values to check. So the rule will decide whether something in the snapshot we collect from the IBM I should appear in the views and with what color status. In addition, as we saw, we can make that issue be distributed to multiple people using multiple methods. On this screen, we have opened the critical procedure for the subsystem rule. Here we define who it can be sent to, what message will be sent, and optionally whether we execute a command. In our example, we saw that the MN inter subsystem was ended by MI8. We can see that automation command here. This simple demo only showed a few different types of rule we could use to monitor the backup server. There are many other classes of rule we can define including some that are more relevant to a production server. If I pick the sysinf, system information rule class, I can then look at the variety of attributes we can check below that class. So for example, I might want to monitor for CPU utilization too high or too many jobs on the system. So over the time of our demo, we have alerted administrators to some issues fixed many, run automated commands, replied from our phone, and also manually confirmed that an issue or two was okay to close. The end result is that we are back where we want to be with zero errors on the systems. MI8 is functionally rich, so we've not had time to show all the benefits we can offer you in this video. This bullet list mentions some of them, but is not an exhaustive list. What we have tried to do with MI8 is provide a more modern, more relevant interface to the performance of your system, your applications, and the high availability environment. Many administrators will find themselves spending most of their time in the screens of MI8 as it helps them to perform their tasks more efficiently. If you would like to learn more about any of the topics that were covered in this video, please reach out to your MaxArva representative or partner. Thank you for attending this session and taking time to learn more about MI8, your intelligent monitoring solution.